Animal moves. Go. All right. We're going to animal movements today. So when I say go, we are going to do a crab walk. All right? We're going to do it all the way up to this line right here. I want to see how well y'all can do it. Let's go. Can you mark? Set. Wait, wait, wait. These are kindergarten kids. They don't know what a crab cart. Okay. Yep. Show and do. Uh, the crab walk is like this. All the way back and move back. Y'all are not the most flexible people I've ever seen. <laughs> I think we need a demonstration. A demonstration? Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. So you're doing this. Moving your head as much as you can. You're walking. Moving as much as possible. All right? I think you have to have a trunk, you know? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Spread out a little bit, guys. Give you a little bit of room. Make sure you're not hitting anybody. All right, ready? Set, go. Good job. <laughs> I think y'all might read the instructions before y'all try to teach that one. Okay, next one. Go. All right. Then we got the injured coyote. All right, this is basically a bear walk. Which I'll show you what it is. Just like this, but whenever I pull out a limb, you have to hobble. You can't use that limb. So if I say right arm, you can't use your right arm as much. You've got to kind of lift on it. If I see right leg, you can't use your right leg. All right? Ready? Set? Go. Right off. Left leg. Keep going, guys. Good job. Good job. Justin, stop looking at your phone. You look silly. You got a clock right there. Looking at the, right. Okay, go.
Tightrope tight walk? Alright, let's do tightrope walk. Basically, you're going to pretend like there's a rope on the ground, okay? Arms out, give yourself a little bit of space, and I want you to feet over, over and over, but walk slow and make it top. Alright? Ready? Go. Gorilla walk? Time tumbling and inverted balance. Go. Well, we needed to spread them out a bit. We forgot that we had to tell kids where to be before we taught. That's better. That's better. Go. Developmental one, and tumbling and inverted balance. Can you come demonstrate, show, show them what you want them to do, okay. and then they'll copy it. Demonstrate the skill. Demonstrate her doing it, and then let them watch. Okay. Right. 
So she's going to bend down, just like she's doing, spread her arms a little bit. You're going to tuck, she's going to tuck her head into her chest, and then she's going to lift up her legs and roll. Okay. Don't talk, just do it. Do, just do it. Just don't let them uh, put their head on the ground. Shove their head through, right? Okay, go. Yeah, yeah. You're protecting his neck. Do not, yeah. yeah. Good job, good job. She corrected that. That's good. That's good. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Your head doesn't touch the ground. Head doesn't touch the ground. You can get dizzy too. That's fun. Yeah, no head touching the ground. No head touching the ground. Okay. Stop. Okay, we had to correct her teaching of the front row. Time to see balance stunts. Oh, you look like first graders, too. Switch. Same thing, same thing. Good, good. Now I need you all to get on your knees and put your feet flat like this and just sit like this. Good. Okay, now we're going to go forward and try and balance on our knees like this. Both your knees. Look Ready? at that skill. Look at that skill. There you go. Oh. <laughs> try and stay there. Okay, for those of you who haven't fell yet, try and cross your arms. And stay balanced. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now try and keep your arms up. Yeah, it does. Now swing your arms around. Oh, no. Oh, look at that skill over there. Look at that skill.
I think you're ready for the runway. Okay, you know, now we're going to try Very zen looking. Mm -hmm. Very good job, Liz. Kick that leg up. Once that leg is up, you're gonna follow it up with the other leg against the wall. You wanna to try to be up and down against the wall. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate right here, find a clear spot to go ahead and get on all fours. Face face the wall. And when she's ready, she's gonna kick one leg up. And at that time, I'm gonna spot her. So I'm gonna catch that one leg. While she kicks the other leg up, and I'm gonna hold both legs. So, in result, <laughs> ah, okay. we'll see. You ready? So kick. Kick. And at the same time, push down while putting your head down. Okay, stop. No, no, no. Look at the floor. Look at the floor, dear. Okay, this is good. We kind of left out some valuable information. If you're gonna do a kick up to the uh, to the wall. The kid must keep their elbows locked, and you must look at the floor all the time. If you change your head position, it's going to send you into a forward roll with you against your back against the wall, which means you're going to fall on your head. Right? Does that make sense? Okay. Go. Uh, keep your forehead down. Next to the ground. Yes, please. I got to go turn. Them. Just like that. Think you got it? Yep. All right. So everybody, get over with your partners. Find, find a clear spot on the wall. Let's, let's change it because I doubt your skill level in the class. Let's put your head on the floor and do it like a headstand instead of a handstand. That way it's a little safer. Yeah, you can do it that way, J JT. Uh, put your head on the wall, put your hands back, and then try to kick up. Okay. 
That way you can't hurt yourself. Okay. Chris, what'd you do with your head? You're not, you weren't looking, at, yeah. You either put your head on the ground or you keep your eyeballs on the floor. Because once you t t tilt your head, yeah, see, they got it. Look at that skill. Wow. Yes. Yeah, you look a little bit more bad, you keep it up. Okay. Okay. Hang on. You see where his head is, is, is curved? He has to put the uh, hairline on the ground. Yeah, the hairline. That's it. Now he can. Now help him. There he goes. Keep your forehead on the ground. Keep your forehead on the ground. That's it. If you t start tilting your head, you start rolling, right? Good. It's not as scary as it seems. You know. I want everybody to line up right here in this line. Face me. We need, yeah, we need a little more room than that. Stick out your belly, look at the floor, hand, hand, foot, foot. Stick out your belly, do not bow, right? There we go. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Look at the floor. Look at the floor. Look at the floor. Look at the floor. Everybody must be able to do a cartwheel by the end of this class. Not end of this class, period. The end of the semester. And if you can't, I will help you learn. Okay? All right. There's two more back the way you came. Two more back the way you came. Uh, girls, is there any of you that can teach cartwheels? But do you know how to teach a cartwheel? Okay. You want to give him a little help? No, sh tell me how you do a cartwheel. And it helps if you're on a line, yeah. you know. Yeah. And where was her eyes? On the floor. Yes. Okay, let's try it one more time, guys. One more time. Yes, yes. Oh, much better, much better. Yes, yes. Come on, Brian, you can do it. See, I can do it this way. I can't do it this way. Perfect. Perfect. You are the fastest student in the world. It takes kids a little bit longer to learn that than it just did. Great. You have anything else? Straight line. There you go. Uh, 
And time. I want everyone to win the circle. And when I say stop, I want to see you on this line and see you on this line. They're little kids. They can't count. So you're going to have to use a different method to make them do, right, divide stop. them up. So look, toe to toe. Everybody toe to toe. Okay, everybody toe to toe. One person put a hand on the head. One person hand on the knee. Okay, now tell them where the people with the hands on the head go. And what person put their hand on the head. All right. The group that got their hand on their head, everybody get on this side. The group that doesn't, get on this side. Okay. Now, everybody pay attention to me. What we're going to do is we're going to start here. Everybody spread out here. What we're going to do, everybody's going to start out here, and I want you to do a complete turn and face halfway, the opposite end. So everybody, when I say go, everybody's going to turn and face this way. So go. All right, good. Now everybody face back at me. Now, what we're going to do this time, we're going to try to go three fourths of the way. So we're going to turn and land here and make sure that we're about So what we're going to do is, here, we're going to see the land and you're about So everybody go. Good. Now, we're going to do a complete turn. Come back to where you started. So this is what I want. Coming back to normal and being down. Make sure your arm is tucked closer to you because that allows you to pick up velocity. Alright, everybody go. Alright, good. Alright, now, this next exercise is another thing. I want everybody, we're all facing this way. And what I want you to do, I want you to turn and face this way with your legs crossed. Somebody just went out the, the door that they're not supposed to go out. Turn the alarm on. The reason the alarm is on there is because so many, still, so many people still stuff out the pulpit. Yeah, so, so everybody, just turn with your legs under you. So just turn and your legs is going to be crawling. Right. So everybody going to turn and face down. Let's go. Now you're going to sit down in a seat position and stand up without using your hands. And once you do it, turn back again. It's kind of hard. Up and turn back around. That's it. Not bad. <laughs> well, some of us need a little work on that. <laughs> yeah. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is a correct push up. What I want everybody to do is when I say go, I want you to get into a body that your body is straight and your arms are locked out. When I say down, I want you to go. And you see how flat my body is? We want to be flat and come back up in the same position. So when I say go, we're going to do three nice, three push ups. Ready? Everybody down. Make that, sure your body is good and flat. That's called a front support position in gymnastics. Perfect. Look go. at that. Good. Go. Now, can first graders really do this successfully? Yeah, uh, most of them know, but they'll try. And eventually they'll get where they can do it, huh? One more. One more. Go. All right, good. Now, on the next one, this is what we're going to do. This is called crazy walk. And what you're going to do, you're going to walk with one leg across from each other, trying to stand completely straight line. It's, it's hard. You've got to be well in line. So I want everybody to do a crazy walk to this line right here. So when I say go, all you're going to do is get Now, everybody run over 
get a, uh, a bag. bag. I'm the best. Thank you.